Hey everyone, happy Thursday. I want to come on live this week with a couple of tips on how to amp up your productivity week by week. This is something that I do every week. I've been doing this for over a year now and it's really helped me to stay on track, keep track of my goals, course correct whenever I need it and actually get things done. Because if you don't do this, um, then you really start feeling overwhelmed and you feel like you're kind of everywhere and going nowhere. So this is really a great, easy and very simple way to amp up your productivity in general. <clears throat> Excuse me. And just do this on a weekly basis and you will feel like it's just less overwhelming to keep track of things rather than looking at it every once in a while and then spending hours and hours and just really getting lost in the noise. Um, if it's the first time you are tuning into my lives, let me quickly introduce myself. My name is Eileen. I'm a holistic life coach and I help people who are active in nightlife. Um, so DJs, producers, people who like to go out, people who work behind the scenes, people who are working with the people who are working in nightlife. I help those people who are struggling with work-life balance and who live in love, hate, guilt about combining their nightlife activities with healthy living and I help them feel balanced and feel good about themselves even after a big night out. Now, again, to my tips for amping up your productivity, it's really very easy and it's just three steps. And if you do these three steps every week, I promise you, you will start seeing results and you will start feeling differently. You will feel more confident, less overwhelmed, and you will start seeing results as you get things done. Okay, so let me have a quick look at my notes. So step number one is I want you to block in one hour every week on Fridays for review and planning. Um, the reason why I want you to do this on Fridays is because I really feel like you should keep your weekends open for rest and just fun and whatever, seeing your family, having a social life. Maybe some of you have to go um, play on the weekends. So if you don't do this on Fridays, you won't, you won't do it. If you, if you think like, oh, I'll do, do this over the weekend, then you probably won't. So do it on Fridays as you kind of round up your week. And why weekly? Because it's easier for our brains to remember things that happened over the course of a week rather than having to go back more than seven days. That's really just uh, the reason why we should do this weekly. So block in one hour every week and just do this in advance. Like grab your calendar or your planner or whatever it is that you're using and do this now for the rest of the month or the next month because it's already almost the end of February. But just plan this in advance. Like I do this every Friday uh, morning around 11. It really depends on what time I went to bed on Thursdays. But I usually just plan this in way in advance. Like every Friday from 11 a.m. to 12 p.m. I have my hour where I do my weekly review and I plan my next week. So step number one, block one hour weekly on Fridays for review and planning. Then step number two is doing the actual review of the week. So you want to ask yourself what worked this week and what didn't, okay? So you can really um, do this by, for example, looking at one area of your week or just looking at kind of a general feel of your week and really, really look at, hone in and at, at the things that you have been doing, things that have been going really well so that you can actually replicate that success, replicate those results um, and things that haven't gone so well, it's really easy to just pinpoint them by looking at things that you've struggled with, things that you procrastinated on, um, things that you were putting off. So there's probably something there that you're resisting and you wanna look at them just to see if it's something that you actually really have to do. Maybe you can just toss it off your list because we already have to-do lists that are so long and way too long. Um, so maybe you should just toss it off your list or maybe it's just time to look at if, if there's maybe something that you need to learn in order to get it done. Maybe you need to ask for some help or support to get this thing done. Just anything at all. Just really look at it. It's okay if it's not going well. We all go through it. Um, but just really look at it and, and see what you need to tweak or change for yourself. 
So that was step number two, review the week, look at things that were going well, look at things that needs improving, and then just write them down and decide how you will change um, or course correct if needed. And then step number three is plan your following week. Okay, so you want to go over your schedule for the next week and really plan um, plan stuff in. And this really is very helpful as you go into the weekend because it will give you peace of mind um, before the next week. And then you can just really let go and relax in the weekend or do whatever you need to do over the weekend. Again, some of you may have busy weekends, may go out play, may have to produce some music, may have a lot of stuff coming up with friends, social life, raving, partying, whatever it is. Um, so you want to do this on Fridays. Just plan your next week so it can just close off for your week and you can go into the weekends with peace of mind. Now, I have a couple of ideas that can help you to plan um, your next week. For example, you want to look at what appointments or meetings that you have coming up so that you just kind of Remember them, plant them in your head, write them down, put them on your calendar so that you don't forget. Um, you also want to look at if you have set aside um, enough time for planning or prepping your meetings or appointments. Sometimes you have to dig into some information before you go to a meeting or have an appointment. So you also want to make sure that you set aside enough time to um, plan this. You want to look at what's important, what's urgent and what's pending or waiting. You also want to look at your top three goals for each day. So we have a week that's consisting of five days. It's really not taking up a lot of time to just look at, okay, what are the top three things that I need to get done or goals that I want to achieve each and every day and write them down. Again, if you have a calendar um, online, do it on your calendar. If you have a planner, I'm actually using a planner like paper and pen. I got back to that because it's just really so much more helpful than having all the things in, in the cloud or digitally. But no matter how you do it, just really write it down, okay? So your top three goals each and every day, write them down. And that's really easy for you then to actually prioritize. And whenever you go into that day, you do those three things first. So you're sure you get them out of the way and then you can go about your day and do other stuff as well. Um, you can also look at what are three ways that you can focus more you can look at, did you plan in your meals? Like for some people, that's really helpful. Um, that's something that I do if I have a really busy week coming up. I always plan my meals so that I don't have to think about, oh shit, I still have to go to the store, have to go do grocery shopping. What am I going to eat? I don't have any inspiration. I really hate when that happens. So I really wanna plan in my meals every week as much as possible so that I don't have to think about that anymore. Um, and also very important, you have to look at if you've planned in enough time for rest and recover, okay? Because otherwise you will just keep going, I'm pretty sure. I mean, I'm that kind of person, I would just keep going and going. So I try to plan in enough time for rest and recover. For example, today I planned in my full morning and this afternoon and this evening I'm not doing anything because I've planned to go visit my dad and I really wanna be present with my dad, enjoy that time because we don't really get to see each other a lot. Um, since he's moved to Spain and he's only in Belgium a couple of times a year. So I don't want to be kind of preoccupied with, oh shit, I have to do this and this tonight when I get home and I have to make sure I'm going home in time, blah, blah, blah. You know how it goes, all the thoughts and all the feels. Um, but so I really cleared my schedule this afternoon because I really need to have some rest and I want some time um, with my dad. So really look at that every time you plan your following week that you have scheduled enough time for rest, enough time with your family, um, your friends, uh, whatever it is that, that you need to recharge your batteries. So that was actually it for my tips on how to amp up your productivity week by week. If you need some help with this, then know that I can help you. I've just launched a new service, a new one-on-one -on -one coaching service. It is email consulting. It is perfect for people who have a very irregular, busy schedule, who don't have time to sit down with a coach every week and talk for an hour, but do want one-on-one -on -one support on certain things so that they can get things done. It's also perfect for people who are a little bit more introverted and who fear it's a bit difficult for them to open up um, 
kind of in person to someone and prefer to just write things down and have things kind of laid out in front of them, black and white. And it's also really perfect for people who have never worked with a life coach before and kind of want to test it out a little bit. So this is really a surface level way for me to show you my coaching process um, through emailing with each other. Um, and it's also a very um, like easy, accessible way to get coaching. It's affordable, it's convenient, you can just fit it into your own schedule um, at whatever time is, is easy for you. And you have a lot of space and time to digest everything that comes your way. So you get to ask me two questions a week. So you get to send me two emails with one question per email a week. And I reply to you um, during my office hours. So that will be within at least 48 hours, no maximum 48 hours. Um, and it's not just a short reply. It's really like a personalized, custom made reply just for you, for your specific situation. I will also give you specific assignments, stuff that I need you to read, things that I really need you to do. I will give you actionable steps in every email so that you can actually move forward. And the reason why I'm limiting this to two emails a week is because you will already have enough content to digest with all of the stuff that I will be giving you in my replies um, so that you actually have some time to mull it over, let it sink in, and then get to work with it so that by the next week, when you can get to send in your next two questions, you actually have something to follow up on, okay? Um, this is a service that I'm offering during the month of March. So we will work together for one month. It's perfect for you to start implementing new habits, new attitudes, new things, new ways of thinking. Um, try stuff, new stuff to get things done. It's perfect if you're looking for a partner in crime, an accountability partner who will hold you accountable, who will help you reach your goals. It's also perfect if you feel like you've been stuck in one area of your life and you need a little bit of guidance. I can help you through that as well. I've had people sign up to help them really map out their goals for the month. I've had people sign up to help them to get over certain limiting beliefs. I've had people sign up to help them break through creative blocks. It's really any life balancing issue that you have right now, but that you feel like you need some guidance on and that you want um, black and white on paper, uh, something that you can go back to every time you need it because you will have all of your answers in one place. So you will be able to go back to it anytime you need it and really replicate that success and just get better results for yourself. So if this is something that you're interested in, you can send me a PM or I will also drop the link with all the info in the comments below so you can check that out. Please know that it's really um, open for a limited amount of time and I'm only taking on a limited amount of people because this is really for me my one-on-one -on -one time. So I don't have like a thousand hours in a week. Um, so just like you, my time is also limited and I really want to spend it to the best of my abilities. Um, another reason why I also need you to apply is I want to make sure that this service is actually a good match for you. I don't want you to waste any of your resources, being your money, your time, your focus, your attention and your energy. So you have to apply first so that I can actually assess if this is the right service for you. If it's not, then I will make a suggestion for something else. If I think that I can't help you, which is very much possible, then I will probably try to refer you to something or someone else if possible. Okay, so I will drop the link below or you can PM me if you're interested. Um, again, very limited uh, spaces, limited amount of time that this will remain available and also subject to availability. If all the spots are gone, then it's done and then I will close the service again. So again, if you have questions, PM me and I will drop a link in the comments below. Okay, thank you for watching and I hope this help this video helps you. Bye.